Um, I, uh, one of the Demon students this year um, said something really lovely um, in one of her papers. She said, I, you know, had thought that creativity was just this sort of serendipitous thing that dropped out of the sky at the right moment. She said, I used to, you know, I, I always noticed that when I was on vacation, I was so creative. <laughs> so she said, but you made me, because, you know, I was the teacher and I can make people do this for a while, um, but, you, but you made me sit down and just, you know, sit still for an hour and watch. And she said, as soon as I did that, I was amazed at how much happened. So what she was saying is the same thing Twyla Tharp says in um, her great book, Creativity is a Habit. This is not just about creativity. Imagination is not just this thing that some of us have and some of us don't. No, it's a habit you cultivate. You cultivate it by, doing, by, by um, creating the space for it, um, the same way you do with brushing your teeth or you know, eating breakfast or um, um, sitting down and having a meal with your kids, whatever it is. You just have to create the disciplines and the space for this stuff to happen. And a lot of it feels like, well, this is stupid, but it's the space in which things clear out and, this, and the spirit can begin to move. And you are in a position to hear and actually receive. And you can't do that. I mean, it's not your sermon's not going to come just because you have 10 minutes between meetings to work on it. You live with it, and 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 at some point you sit down and you, you prepare whatever that looks like for you. I'm a manuscript preacher, so for me it looks like writing, writing it out. But, you know, I'm really working on it all the time. It's, I'm never not working on it, the way I'm never not a mother to my two sons. I'm never not a spouse. I'm never not a friend or a daughter. I'm, I'm, I mean, these are things I am. And so, you know, at some point there's the time limitation, and you sit down and you, you prepare and you come up with that, and you... Um, it's the most truthful thing you know, and then you leave it, and you preach it, and you hope it's enough manna for one day. But, the, um, but for me, the move from text to sermon is much, much easier when I've been living with it that deeply, as opposed to, oh, I better go, you know, as opposed to having the text be something that's in the book that I have to look up. Okay, what did it say again? I can't do that. You know, that feels, techno that feels like technology to me, mm -hmm. and you know my relationship with technology. It just, you know, it just feels hard.